Logarithmic equations, question 4. Find domain of following functions. I hope by now you are an expert on finding domains, right? I try to take different types of examples. We took some constants, some linear functions, some quadratic functions, and now we have square root and square with square root. That's interesting. So that will cover most of the type of examples you are going to uh, face soon, right? And then we'll enjoy solving logarithmic equations. Well, find domain is always a part of logarithmic equations, correct? Once you start solving equations, first thing you should find the domain. And then when you get all the possible answers, check for the answers which are within your domain. Only those are the right answers. Others we say are extraneous roots, not permitted, okay? So that is why finding domain is very critical in solving any logarithmic equation, okay? So let's get to the first one. g of x is equal to log square root x minus 4. Now, since no base is mentioned, can you tell me what is the base of this function? It is to the base 10. Perfect. Now, square root of x minus 4 should be greater than 0. That is what we are looking for. So we are looking for something which is square root of x minus 4 is greater than 0. Perfect. Now you can say, now you know, square root of x, that is permitted only for x is greater than 0. So we know one thing, that x has to be greater than 0, otherwise square root of x is not permitted. So we know one restriction already, correct? Let's see what this gives. It will give us additional on top of this. So we can solve for it, we say square root of x is greater than 4. We'll add 4 both sides and we get 4. And then we can square and we get 4 square, which is 16. So we get x is greater than 16. Now, so this was one restriction, x is greater than 0. This is another x greater than 16. So that becomes our final restriction. This is more restrictions, right? You're not even permitted to have values between 0 and 16. That is why we are selecting x greater than 16 as a restriction, right? It is a restriction where that is included. Perfect. Therefore, we can write the answer as this or we can write this as 16 comma as an ordered period like this. That gives you interval. That is called interval notation, right? And the third one is in the set form. X belongs to real numbers where X is greater than 16. So that's another answer. Correct. Now let's move on to the next function h of x equals to log of square root of x square. Now, do you understand what is square root of x square? Interesting thing is, even if I put negative values to x, they will become positive, right? Square. So, square of any real number is going to be positive here. So, we have non-negative numbers inside. Do you see that? So, we already have a log function with non-negative numbers. So, what could be the restriction here? Is it all real numbers permitted? I don't think so. So what we need is this greater than zero. That's the key issue. Greater than zero. So that means it is not equal to zero, right? That means it cannot be equal to zero. So zero square is zero. So that is not permitted, right? So here I can write my restriction as x belongs to real numbers, all real numbers, but it is not equal to zero, correct? So that is also a way of writing a domain, saying everything but not this thing. So that's our domain for this, right? So this is a good way of writing domain here. In interval notation, however, you can write like this, minus infinity to zero, union from zero to infinity, not including zero. That's another way of writing, correct? Now let, that brings us to close to my teaching you how to find domain, right? And it is up to you now to do the these two questions. They are pretty interesting. C is f of x equals to log 2 of x minus 4 whole square. I put the square outside. And here we have g of x equals to log of square root of 4 minus 2x. So they are kind of similar but different, right? And their answers may vary, correct? So look into these, try to solve them, and then we move on with solving logarithmic equations. All the best. Thank you.